round three of the World Championship here in the Marquetta Stadium. Business time now. This is when you really got to produce it. If you want to make the final, keep yourself together. Drop that clutch at the right time. Don't be impatient. Don't blow it now. Green light is about to come on. Oh, Wuffenden was a little bit nervous on the start. Tight away into the first turn. Wuffenden's just about there. Janowski's around the outside. Janowski gets to the front, round the outside in the first turn. He now fires himself to the front. Dan Bewley coming through into third place. Roaring around the outside of Wuffenden. But he's not quite there. Janowski's stolen a out in the opposition. Wuffenden hanging on in second place. Bewley and Leon Madsen now squabbling for third place. But that's cost them dearly. But Matze Janowski, a brilliant first turn from him. Yeah, brilliant. May you count himself lucky. Had a nibble at the start. He's already on a warning, but uh, referee being kind to him. Out front, looking fast. Ty Wolfenden settled down into second place. Once again now, Dan Bewley pulled clear of Leon Madsen, but uh, a lot of ground to make up. Can't see him doing anything from there. Matze Janowski out in front. Terrific first turn from him, showing real speed. Ty Wuffenden there was close in that first turn. These two riders who ride together in Wrocław in the extra league in Poland, looking set fair for the final. Janowski through, followed home closely there by Ty Wuffenden. They make the final this evening. Bewley and Leon Madsen missing out. Polish fans on their feet. A lot of respect between the first two riders. Of course there is. They've been teammates for some considerable times in Poland. But Matej Janowski wins his last two outings. And of course, he has very fond memories and recent memories of the winning here in the Marquetta Stadium. Fourth in the world coming into tonight's meeting. 29 World Championship points to his name. And uh, he's looking good. Janowski wins very nicely indeed. Wuffenden follows him home in second place there through to the final. Bewley and Madsen missing out this time. Cracking stuff from Janowski. As I said, he had a little nibble at the start, and if the referee really wanted to pick him, he's on a warning. Now you can see Wuffenden. He hasn't moved, but Janowski did move quite a bit there. I think Wuffenden did move initially. Uh, he not, did, he did yeah, move maybe initially. just a tiny bit there, but Janowski jumped there, then goes and gets the advantage once he gets around the first turn. Maybe if he'd have made a clear start, referee may have not been so kind. No, I tend to agree. I think we could have seen a red light come on there, but he was kind to them, and... Janowski and Wuffenden may well um, uh, feel they've been a little bit fortunate there, but for Janowski, once he yeah, settled down in front, he looked fast, he looked composed. Bewley had a real go early on, but uh, couldn't just make that stick. Had to try early doors. Leon Madsen, then they were squabbling, and that really cost any chance for those two riders to make the final. Yeah, Janowski. Bewley never really had the opportunity because of the track grade. I think if it had been in the second, second semi-final, maybe he'd have had that opportunity around the outside. Yeah, disappointment for him, but when you consider what happened to him earlier on, he did very well to make the semi-finals, and he's picked up some valuable points this evening, so fair play to him. Um, but for that man, Janowski, looking strong. Second semi-final is right here, building up nicely. They're up at tapes, and uh, Bartosz Smarslik there is on the inside in the red helmet colour alongside him is uh, Martin Vesselik in blue, Jason Doyle will come out of gate three in white, and Anders Thompson will go from the outside. Can he do something uh, pretty spectacular? He's been uh, below par in his last two outings uh, prior to the semi-finals, failed to score a point. Got to feel that Smarslik on that inside gate will be a favourite to make the final. He'll want to put uh, two weeks ago out of his mind, of course, where he made that mistake and didn't make the final, so the green light is about to come on. Semi-final number two. Away they go. Martin Vasilik makes a really good start. Really gets to the first corner in front. Jason Doyle alongside him. And a stops and oh, he's gone down. I thought for a moment he was going to run in the back of Jason Doyle. Picks the bike up. The race continues. It's going to go on now. Out in front, Martin Vasilik. And once again, Barca smiles. It's got a lot of work to do if he wants to make the final here. Jason Doyle in second place, looking strong, looking set. But Martin Vasilik, the form continues for the Slovakian. Yeah, he's looking comfortable out front. Brave move, but Smarslik putting Doyle under so much pressure. Look for that dive bomb move up the inside again, but Doyle really not leaving him enough room. And uh, at the moment, set fair to make his first semi-final of the season. Indeed it is. 
Martin Veselik will move on to the final if he hangs on out in front there. Looking good for Doyle now. Bartosz Smarzik running too wide. Going to miss out on the, the final for the second consecutive Grand Prix. Martin Veselik riding out of his skin through to the final. Chased home hard by the former world champion Jason Doyle. Those two riders had had disappointing campaigns before tonight's meeting. And they have turned it around in fine style. Smarslik is another shot to miss out on the final, but for that man out in front, he really has been making starts for fun. And Martin Vasilik and Jason Doyle through to the final. Yeah, I said that Vasilik was uh, brave to take gate two. Heat 20, they'd been in the same order, and uh, Smarslik came out on top of that one. So to go into your very next race, electing to do the same thing again yeah, well, was brave, but it just shows his confidence. Yeah, we did see that uh, with Max Frick a couple of weeks ago when he chose gate four on three occasions, but this is a terrific effort from Martin Vasily. Yeah, unfortunate for Anders Thompson there, just ran out of room as he picked up some drive, nearly ran into the back of Jason Doyle, and it was very fair on the other riders to get himself up, uh, which is very important. You can see there, Doyle is just stopping that run, but it's a mistake from Thompson, really. And uh, yeah, great stuff. It's great to see Jason Doyle back in the thick of the action now, but that man in blue, Martin Vasilik, full of confidence, took gate two, made absolute, took advantage of it, and Smarzlik, once again, doesn't make a final. No, just missing out on the final. But we're now waiting for the big final race of the night. Martin Vasilik then, really riding strongly tonight. Totally transformed character here in the Marquetta Stadium. All out of sorts two weeks ago in Warsaw, but uh, all of a sudden he's got the juices flowing here this evening, that's for sure. And Martin Vasilik looks like his old self.